Whoa, whoa. I want to personally invoke your abilities to subscribe to my friend here, Emilio, at Animal Encounters. They sleep just like, just like you mammals at home. They sleep at night. And we're gonna say goodbye. What a lovely creature. A lovely, beautiful male brown basilisk. And get our hands on some to show you all at home just how many of these invasive lizards call Florida their home. The basilisk lizard, or the Jesus Christ lizard, is a medium-sized lizard native to Central and South America. Now, these groups of lizards are really interesting because they've actually developed an extremely unique and awesome defense mechanism. These animals actually, when they're younger, can run on water to escape predators. Let's take a look at some of what makes basilisks unique and interesting. Okay, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, right here, I have a beautiful brown basilisk, and we're right in Emilio's backyard. Yeah. So we're gonna poke around, and we're gonna see if we can see any more of these beautiful basilisks, and get our hands on some to show you all at home just how many of these invasive lizards call Florida their home. in the perfect position. And I'm gonna try my hand at whew, grabbing this small basilisk. Put my flashlight up because I don't need it. I can see. Good morning. Whoa, 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 easy, easy, easy. Take a look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful little basilisk. Something that normally you would only see in Central and South America. But here in the beautiful state of Florida, these have become invasive like many other species of reptiles. But these are super, super neat. You can see these beautiful, long, spindly legs are perfect for climbing and finding perches just like that one. Whoa, easy. Quite feisty. They did not like, this one did not like being woken up. You're okay, you're fine. And they've got this beautiful, long tail, which they can use in defense. She's kind of whipping it around, but they can also use this beautiful tail in aiding their swimming. Now, smaller basilisks are actually able to do something really, really cool. They've got these little frills on the back of their feet here, and that can actually catch water. Some people call these the Jesus Christ lizard, and that's because these animals, when they're small and they feel threatened, can run and catch the surface tension of the water, quite literally running on water until they lose that momentum, hit the water, and swim away to safety. Such an awesome adaptation of these beautiful, beautiful lizards. So the reason we're out here at night is because these lizards are diurnal, which means they're active during the day. Now, they're extremely quick, so it'd be almost impossible to catch them when the sun is out. So what we're doing is that we're gonna be here at night, and while they're sleeping on the branches, we're just gonna pluck them off like we did this guy. Yep, big brain move. It's always easier to catch a sleeping lizard than it is to catch an awake lizard. Certainly. Pro Jack Sword of Wildlife tip for you all today. Sleeping, yes. Awake, harder. Yeah, it's, not, it's not doable. A no, it's not a no, but, but it's harder. But it is, it's, it's significantly harder. But these are really, really cool lizards. They're gonna find a nice little perch in the trees and the bushes. So we're gonna poke around and we're gonna see if we can find any unsuspecting lizards. Check out this huge male. Look at that beautiful crest on him. Spectacular. Resting, and now we've interrupted that rest. Poor fella. But he's also pretty high up. But you can see how at home these lizards are in the canopy. Those, those long toes and those sharp claws enable them to climb with great ease. 
and find sanctuary among the candy. Now, basilisks, like many different species of animals, exercise what's called sexual dimorphism. And that means that the males and the females look much different from one another. Now, one really easy key difference to note is this beautiful frill on the back of the head. You see this large adult male not only has this beautiful frill, but this nice little neck dewlap. And the larger that frill is, and the, and the more impressive this dewlap is, it, the more able he is to seem big, to intimidate other males, so that he can create more baby basilisks. You can see the female has a tiny little flap at the back of the head, but nothing compared to the gigantic frill on the back of this male's head. Now you can see as well, this is very likely an adult female, and this is a, a decent sized adult male. And you can see once again, that size disparity there, where you've got the male being considerably larger than the female, uh, which is an interesting thing to note in reptiles, because a lot of the time, the females are prioritized for being the largest because they've got to store all those eggs or, or babies, uh, because reproduction is the main name of the game. However, these lizards can be quite territorial. They can fight off other males for females. Uh, so it's a great option to be the biggest, baddest guy on the block so that you can mate with as many females as you can. So here's a little female tucked all the way up there. You can see that they rest in these branches, but that white underbelly is pretty striking. So it's easy to spot them with the flashlight because you can see all this green foliage, and then right in there is that bright white lizard tummy. You can see she's quite high up, so I don't know that we're gonna be able to grab her. Oh, too far. I don't know if we're gonna be able to grab her out. But this is how they do at night. They sleep, just like, just like you mammals at home. They sleep at night. Well, our lovely little female is going to be returned to her beautiful little perch. Easy, it's okay. Ah! She tried to bite me. Not quite. <laughs> there we go. She's going to find a new place to hang out. But such a beautiful, beautiful little lizard. Really cool experience catching basilisks here in the United States, in Florida. Quite strange. A sensation I've never experienced before, catching basilisks north of Central America. Well, not that far north on the globe, but you know, in the United States. Very cool, very interesting, very unique experience. All right, we're gonna let this beautiful, beautiful basilisk back in the tree where we originally found him. And we're gonna say goodbye. Mm. What a lovely creature, a lovely, beautiful male brown basilisk. All right, buddy. Easy, easy. Oh, there he goes. Climbing up into his tree. Okay, so we had a great time finding some really unique and interesting invasive brown basilisks. Yeah, we were able to get both the male and the female side by side, which was awesome. So you could really see that comparison of that sexual dimorphism in action. So, sadly friends, our time has come to an end. But, I want to personally thank you for watching. And I want to personally invoke your abilities to subscribe to my friend here, Emilio, at Animal Encounters. Animal Encounters. I'm gonna attach Emilio's channel in the description of this video below. Be sure to check it out. Be sure to watch his stuff. Be sure to subscribe. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my own channel. Be sure to buy our merch, it's pretty sick. We've got a lot of new merch. Turn on notifications, of course, that's of utmost importance so you don't miss any awesome future videos. Pretty sick, pretty cool. More collabs. Absolutely, more collabs. And, of course, stick around because you never know what the next episode may encompass. So, I'll see you next time at Jack's World of Wildlife. Bueno muchachos, hasta la próxima.